we are here in Daytona Beach, Florida. I'm here with Ruth Sova, one of the icons in the world of aquatics. And this is the expo at the International Aquatic Fitness Conference. So I want to know what's new with you and your aquatics world, because you are always doing something interesting. Um, I Chi Range of Motion is new. I Chi, you want to explain that to people? I Chi is um, relaxing movement in the water, but that uses full range of motion of all the joints. It progresses from working just arms to trunk to legs and then goes on from there. So it's a progressive program and um, we've just added an I Chi range of motion because we saw people's range of motion was improving, but we didn't see the improvement in alignment at the same time. Hmm. So we've changed it now to add the alignment and then do some stretching with it. That sounds like and it's a good combination. Fun. Yeah, that's fine. Other things, are, well, many, many things, we've got a do no harm package that's going out so that... Mm, we don't hurt anybody when we're in yes, the Yes, yeah. right. So that some people who aren't quite sure what they should do or shouldn't do, this gives them contraindications, which I really don't believe in. I think there's nothing that's always contraindicated. And but, contraindicated means something you shouldn't be doing because it probably would be the wrong thing. Right. Um, so it includes a lot of ideas that can, I think can help people who are working in the pool make sure they're not hurting themselves yeah. or others. Yeah. Now you've been doing this about the same length of time as I have, which means forever. <laughs> which means, yes, we're both old. <laughs> I know, I have to admit it. Um, if you look back at the trend from the early 80s when you and I both started doing this, what are some of the significant changes you've seen? I think we've moved away from choreography where it's dance, mm -hmm. and I think it, uh, there was a lot of that. I think that we moved away from just flinging ourselves around, and there's more intentional movement now. I think that we've gone from using water jugs to having <laughs> yes. a plethora of equipment options to use, whether you want to grip or not grip, if you want something that's resistant or not, or weighted or not, or buoyant. Or buoyant mm -hmm. or, so there are so many options now that we can make things fit us perfectly. What do you like to use personally out of those pieces of equipment? Um, <laughs> I still like noodles. <laughs> They're very versatile. They are, aren't they? Right. Yeah, you can put them under your arms and hang, just relax. Or you can ride them, or you can sit on them like a chair. Yeah. Or you can use them for horizontal push-ups. Or th there's so right. many. That's right. You you can do tricep work. Right. This way. There's yeah. so many options with them that I I do really like those. I also like the collar because when I'm done in the pool. I like to lie back and just float. So it's a neck doodle kind of thing that it's, goes around the right, neck? Right, the collar. And then I put the noodle under my knees and I just float around for a while. Oh well, yeah, I can probably fall asleep like that. <laughs> as long as the water is warm. You can. Yeah. Otherwise not. Thanks, Ruth. Appreciate your time. Thank you.